Hey. How you guys doing? You guys still awake? All right, let's do some Dragon Ball Z. This is uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 1 HD. I'm telling them HD, but whatever. <laughs> So this will start as soon as we hit story, and it will end on the last fight of Cell. Three, two, one, go. So this game will cover over the, from the Saiyan arc to the end of the Cell arc. Um, what I'll be doing for this whole, pretty much this whole speedrun is combo canceling until I get to Gohan where I'm actually going to have to play the game properly. So for here it's just constantly combo canceling and just looping him. I'm going to try not to make him hit the ground because like it wastes time I have to wait for him to get up and it's just a big pain. And the way combo canceling usually works, there's two combos you can do with Goku that you can cancel out of. So for example, the easiest one, kick, 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 and then you can guard to get out of the last one. And it'll be something you fight, it'll be something like that. Usually a good one, I would, he wouldn't hit the ground at all until he died. But, that's fine. <laughs> You can do this both on the GameCube, the uh, standard edition, and HD. So this is the little mini game. Normally, what I would do for this mini game is I will just kind of wait it out until like the last five seconds, and then run back into the circle. So now I just start kind of going back into the circle and just evening it out a little bit. There we go. The longer you spin the thing, the harder it gets to get back to that center for some reason. And then the reverse minigame for the 100% story is even worse. Oof. After losing his life in a brutal battle against his brother Raditz. Uh, one difference between a uh, big difference between the HD one is loading times. Two, they replaced the entire soundtrack because of copyright reasons. And three, uh, we can skip more cutscenes on HD than we can in normal. <laughs> The AI is a little different too on the HD version. Sometimes very a little bit more aggressive, sometimes not, depending on who it is. So for example, Cell is way more aggressive on the HD. Frieza is a lot more aggressive on the normal version, from what I remember correctly, from what I've been told. It's barely noticeable though. So I am using custom controls, it's just how I play the game, you don't have to have them. Go into Kaioken, and then right back into combo canceling. This is going to be pretty much the entire game until... Yeah, until the Cell game. And maybe the pick, like everything involving Goku is going to be combo canceling. Everything outside of Goku will be... Piccolo has one ability we can combo cancel, but you can't really loop it too much. Uh, Gohan, the next one right now, is just going to be punching, and then for the end, we're actually going to have to try to play the game properly. <laughs> there are quite a few runners of uh, Budokai, normal, and very few of HD. If you, do, if you would like to run a Dragon Ball Z game, please do contact some of the DBZ runners, they can get you either in contact with someone who can help you, or they can help you. Oof. So, Vegeta does retaliate. If it happens, it happens. There's not much I can really do to stop it, because the best way to do it is just to do this over and over again. wasn't a very good Vegeta because he retaliated and jumped around, but could be worse. That would be the end of the Saiyan arc.
Next up, we will be doing the Frieza arc, which we will start off with a training section. Which well, first will be Kai Blast training. Reflecting, second will be the... I can't remember what they call it in the game, like Trigger Attack or something, where you both end up into a constant, like, Reflect type deal. Normally, Vegeta would punch you right at the first beginning, but I lucked out, and he just kind of let me walk away, get the distance I need. Okay, that's not bad, I'll take it. The best one would be if you're close enough to where he will reflect it, you can just sit there reflecting it for the whole time, but... It's super rare to acquire. Super rare to have it, my bad. Next is the... Combina uh, the... The thing, I can't remember his name, I guess that it's really late at night. <laughs> so, the way we're gonna do this is... If Vegeta would do it, right? Come on, there you go. So I'm going to win the first two, and then I'm going to let Vegeta win the next three. Because the more you win, the longer these take. And it doesn't really matter for the AI, because the AI will just win it right out, right, if there's no flyback. So for the next, for the next ones, I'm just going to let Vegeta win, because it'll be faster that way. Every time you get into one of these, and every time you win one, it just gets longer and longer. Unless there's because the, the AI is programmed to fight back even harder. Oh, it's awful. Come on, Vegeta. There we go. That was a bad training section. Oof. Yeah! So now we're gonna have like one bar of HP while Vegeta has three. It's not gonna be a big deal. I think Kaio can for the bonus damage. So in this game, each transformation actually does help. So Kaio can does give you bonus damage on your when you hit somebody, which is really abusing. Super Saiyan does. Super Saiyan 2 does too. So every time I get the opportunity to switch to to like go up to the next form, I'm going to take it. Yes. Normally, you'll be able to do it right at the start. Uh, a thing to point out about this game that a lot of people don't know is there is like a negative effect of falling. Well. So when you're falling and you take damage, you actually take reduced damage for some reason. I don't know why, but you do. It's kind of weird. Another thing, if you try to loop an enemy too fast, like if you notice how I'm taking you there, like a second of a break to make him to every position, you'll knock him over like this, and that's because I was toggling too fast. The game has a way to kind of stop you from instantly looping, but not really. So like I said, you take that second. It gives the enemy a chance to block, but at the same time, normally they won't for the early portion of the game. It's the late game where it becomes a problem. Okay, so this is the Ginyu part. First Ginyu is pretty simple, but when you play as Ginyu, it's kind of annoying because he doesn't really have that good of a combo cancel. And as I butchered that. But... Kinda of fighting me here. Again, this run is all just pretty much RNG. From the beginning to the very end, how often do the enemy block? How often the AI retaliates? Pretty much a standard fighting game speed run. So this is the Ginyu portion. We're gonna start off in the air, which actually benefits Ginyu. So, as 
you can see how I'm, I was talking about how blocking is really annoying about this game. Because, yeah, AI just really likes to block. Especially Cell. Once you get to Cell, the problem with Cell is it's not that it, it's not as bad as you would think. The main problem is he loves the block button. He'll sit and block. And block has kind of a penalty, but not really. So when you block and you take uh, take a hit from a block, instead of taking damage, you just lose energy. And even if you hit zero, you still don't take damage, which is kind of annoying. Because then it means blocks just don't have any penalties. Yeah, you could lose your super, but meh. This is Frieza. So Frieza is kind of known for blocking a lot. The big ones are like Frieza and Cell. Frieza is okay. It's not bad. It's average. A lot of falling though. Okay, so now we'll be Frieza 2, which will be Super Saiyan. Alright, so here we go. So we start at a disadvantage, you know. For some reason, I guess because we're all beat up. But again, combo canceling makes these fights pretty much a joke. Reason to fight back again, but still, not bad. Next up will be 100% Frieza because we let our charge up to or we let him charge up to 100% for some reason. Okay, just again, basic combo canceling. Going a little too fast here, as you can tell as you're falling over. Okay, so. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, that that can happen sometimes. I'm good about it. So normally if an AI in the early game is blocking too much, I'll change up my pattern. Because then the AI won't understand what I'm doing. Because it's used to me just spamming the same things over and over again. Ooh, I die here. Be careful. Ooh, got me. That's unfortunate. Alright, let's try that again. My bad. Kind of embarrassing. I've been doing warm up runs and I haven't had any problem with Frieza. And then when I go into the marathon, of course, I get a problem with Frieza. Oh. Well, that happened. It's fine. Frieza 3 can do that to you sometimes. You just keep going on. What is this, Android 17? No, Android 17 is in this game and it's just as awful. I'm just calling that now. This fight... So the, w the way this fight was set up is your health is going to be draining because of the virus. And it's... It's supposed to be your, like... It's 
make the, uh, yeah. One sec. So, like I said, your health will be draining. And it's supposed to make this fight hard, but again, combo canceling makes this fight kind of a joke. Uh, I hate those moves that just like stun you for a second. The AI loves to use them every now and then. So now we've unlocked Heart Virus thing, whatever. Vegeta had finally transformed and the second game, Heart, like a Budokai 2, Heart Virus is really overpowered. It can literally save you so much time just for having it at the beginning. So next is Cell versus Piccolo. What we're going to do is do the fusion right off the bat, and then we'll start with a combo cancel. So Cell is the worst AI in the game because he just sits and blocks. He just loves it. As you can tell, That's funny. Every time you if you kill someone in the air, they just kind of float there. I don't know why. It's really funny to me. Alright, next should be Piccolo versus 17. You're dead if you don't start talking. Well, this is another annoying fight. Mostly because Piccolo is the best. Straight into the fusion with Kami. Also, 17 loves to retaliate. It's really annoying. Ooh, that would have been a good time if I got through with it. No. It's fine. That wasn't too bad of a 17. I will take the hit. Next will be the Cell games. We'll start with Goku. Then we'll be doing the Cell... Gohan, no, then Cell Juniors. And two more Gohans afterwards. So here's the perfect cell portions where the game just kind of gets annoying. Goku's isn't too bad because again, he has combo canceling. Oh, well, I guess it would not get a real challenge, sir. That would be Cell with Gohan. That's where the challenge starts to kick in. This is when the game starts to get bad because, well, it gets harder because we don't this have combo canceling. We have something similar time. to combo canceling, but not the same. So, first portion of Gohan, we don't have Super Saiyan 2, so. So this is the best we have for combo canceling. We kind of bounce him off the ground and hit him while he's before he hits the ground. Because Gohan's tight. We're gonna kind of change it up a little bit just in case he tries to get used to the AIs. Oh, 
I came with that, and it didn't. Oh. Not a bad Gohan one. I can take that. Next will be Cell Juniors. I can't hold it back. So for Cell Junior, I'm just going to be spamming the punch button because any other input would waste time. Just kind of get up to him and then just spam this combo over and over again. They really don't do anything after this. Plus, since it's not a full combo, they don't. I don't have to send them flying either, so it's faster to respond to the next Sil Jr. How you guys doing? It's gonna be kind of this for a little bit. You guys enjoying the marathon so far? Any interesting runs out y'all seen that y'all have been enjoying? Y'all ready for more DBZ after this? decides to jump back. If you don't want to miss the Dragon Ball Z action, don't blame me, man. Especially since it's uh, Butoden next, which is a very good series. Kind of the series that started the Dragon Ball Z fighting games. So this is where it's going to kind of start getting a little more annoying. Nice. That was a really good fight. Actually, the second, second, see the second Budokai is my favorite out of the Budokai series. Alright, so this is actually the hard one. Because I'm going to be playing at a disadvantage with, with two bars of health instead of three. And his AI is bumped up retarded amounts of difficulty. Okay, I did not want him to go into that. But as long as he doesn't do anything, it shouldn't matter. And I lost Super Saiyan 2, no problem, we'll get it back in just a minute. So the way Super Saiyan works in this game is it runs off of whatever your bar system is. So if you get knocked down and you're below a certain amount of bars, you lose whatever transformation comes with that time. 24.05, that's not bad. But as I was saying, let's say Super Saiyan takes four bars, Super Saiyan 2 will take five bars. So if I got knocked down at four, I'll lose Super Saiyan uh, 2. You can quick recovery to save it, but... Eh. Wasn't a bad run. Uh, Could have been much better with the, the Freeze of Death. Like, the the final two fights were My really, really good. Usually those are the ones that screw you over because it just sits on hard. I, I'm happy with it. Not that bad. Um, like I said, if you guys ever want to pick up a DBZ game, I would recommend talking to anyone from the community. Most of us are very nice and they are really nice enough to help you out. 
especially me, if you ever, like I said, if you ever want to run into Dragon Ball Z, legacy of Goku games, or stuff like that, would recommend. Along with your entire planet. Sit here and watch this cutscene for a little bit. <laughs> What's wrong, little warrior? Has your incredible power died? I'm finished. No use in Y'all enjoy this. Come on, Gohan. Don't give up. Use the pain of loss. Dad? Dad, is that you? I, I can't see you. Are you there? I'm not with you, son. I'm someplace else. But I want you to attack him with the Kamehameha wave. That's the only thing I can think of that will lay him out for sure. But, but Dad, I, I only have the use of one of my arms, and my energy level is less than half. No. You can do it, son. You just have to let go. I'll try it. Look inside yourself. It's there you'll find the power you need. Hey everyone, it's Goku here. Tenkai is letting me talk to you from Otherworld right now. Yeah, Budokai really 1 is kind of short. Budokai 2 is like maybe I two hours to one. One hour, two hours to an hour and 50. Not virus with virus, it's ridiculously shorter. And when you stop shorter. and think about it, in a way that's true. I think the world might just be safer without me. So, I know it might be hard on teaching Gohan, but don't bother wishing me back to life. Don't worry, we'll meet again one day. I'll be waiting for you. Bye! Hope y'all enjoyed my short run this year. I think we're still waiting on DB to get his, uh, his stuff set up. Yeah, it was good. 